Virgo, welcome. For those that are new to my channel, hey, thanks for stopping by. For those that are returning and my subscribers, thanks for coming back. You know, it does really make a difference to me for those that have subscribed and liked and commented. Um, it keeps me motivated. And I'm kind of like messed up right now, so you're going to have to forgive me because I'm like, my head's kind of, uh, <laughs> sorry, I, yeah, uh, I suffered a bit of a concussion this week, uh, not a bit of one, it's actually really affected uh, my melon, it's like uh, scrambled eggs right now, but I did want to at least uh, get to this out to you, keep in mind my sentences and stuff may be a little off with the structure and blah 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 and all those other things, but either way, uh, let's get started Virgo, let's see where we're at for you. <clears throat> this week off the get-go somebody's uh, somebody seems to be learning somebody's taking that uh, page of Pentacles there's possibly some good news financially coming in uh, but in this deck this is somebody that is actually doing a significant uh, start in learning and then for the desires we have the four of wands so somebody's desiring for something stable um, that has them sort of seeing that you know things are moving forward in a good direction we have the king of cups that shows up <clears throat> king of cups is somebody that is very very wise well in control of their emotions um, queen of cups shows up that's what's working for you so maybe this is a relationship that's working for you and then we have the wheel of something that you need to be aware of and the wheel could be just that there is changes coming uh, it can be that you're ending a cycle or starting a new cycle. So let's go through this and let's start to clarify for you, Virgo. So, Page of Pentacles, clarified by the world. Nine of Cups. Ooh, and the Lover's card show up. So somebody's learning um, about themselves. The world is you're learning about what you can achieve for yourself. You can see that there's the success that you can create. Um, and you can see the success that you can create in love as well. This is really, really nice. This is such a nice, the world, the nine of cups and the lovers. Um, success, success in love. Somebody's doing the internal work to make sure that whatever they're doing with this lover, works out for them. This brings us to stability, the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Ace of Cups, Five of Wands, Six of Wands. So four, five, and six, perfect. So we're moving forward. There's progress being made within this love. Even though there's a little bit of conflict, um, you're feeling super successful in that and enjoying how you feel within that relationship. Now, the King of Cups is the outcome. So why is the King up? Three of Cups. This is a really nice read. This is a really nice read. Um, three of Cups. So celebration, marriage. Uh, three of Pentacles. People that are working together to create a life together, and you're taking action towards it. It seems like you're taking very thoughtful action towards it, which is even nicer. The Queen of Cups is here. <clears throat> Why is she here? We have the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Swords. It seems like the queen or whoever is in your life supporting you is um, very quick in their thinking. They understand what's going on. It may seem chaotic, but they're balancing that out for you. Um, they want this Ten of Cups with you, this emotional fulfillment. We have the King of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the World card, the Lover's card. You know, that's a lot of, there's a lot of emotion there. And the Three of Cups, this is really nice. This is very, very stable. Um, and this has you healing. They provide you with that sort of solace and healing that you desire. 
where you guys can both sort of be each other's, I'm going to say, say bubble. Uh, and I really like that word where you're kind of shielding each other from the rest of the world where you can take solace in being together. And why is the wheel here? What do we need to know? Why do we need to know about the wheel? Eight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Hierophant. Um, there seems to be... So we have the, seven of, the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Swords. And what you need to be aware of is, yeah, okay, you know, things are changing. You are moving into a new cycle. And that new cycle's got you in your head about whether you want to move in with this person and possibly marry them is kind of what I'm getting. This is a really nice read, actually. Um, you're in your head about it. There's no outward signs that's making this wrong. Uh, but you're in a, you know, change is sometimes not the easiest thing to go through. And then we can go back to sort of that learning that you're going through as well. There's so many positive cards here uh, for you. So I want to pull three more cards, just in case. One, two, three. Six of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Judgment card. There seems to be the, the hope for sharing. There seems to be this worry that I'm going to be disappointed. There's possibly regrets. But at the same time, there's this choice with the judgment card here. Are you going to sort of renew this relationship if this is an old relationship that's coming back? Or are you going to make that choice and be there? And be there 100%? Um, this is kind of interesting. There's a lot to be shared between the two of you. Um, but yeah, be aware of that sort of disappointment. It's possible that um, this is sort of the negative card in this whole thing. Uh, this five of, um, yeah, it's just feeling let down. Uh, maybe you're not thinking this is all that it could be, but at the same time, look at it for what it is, because it can be very, very beautiful. Virgo. That is what I have for you today. Thank you for being here. Best of luck with this week. I would be really grateful for some uh, comments to be left with uh, below, just for those that this really resonated with. It would be really cool to see how this actually turns out for you. Thanks for being here. We'll talk to you next time.